What's going on guys, Tyler here and today we are recording early in the morning and the reason for that is we're flying out to California for a chance to see the new 2020 Easton Bats. That's right, we're not talking about vision, we're talking about the year and the bats that are coming out. These are the same bats that are going to be dominating the game of baseball and softball. So we're going to have a fun time, we're going to fly out there today, get a chance to go see all of the facilities, all those new bats, get a chance to swing them. So I'm really glad you guys are here and let's go have a good time. I'm really curious what Easton has to say about these 2020 bats. What have they changed in the innovation? What's going to make these models better than years past? Are they really going to be hotter than last year or the year before? Should be a blast to get a chance to sit down with them. I get to interview them tomorrow, ask them the serious questions that we're all wanting to know, um, and, and really get their insight as to what they have to say about their new bats. So the four major bats we're going to be discussing when we're out there are going to be the Easton ADV360, the Maxim, the Fuse, and the Alpha. All of those bats are going to cover different construction types, whether they're one-piece composite like that Maxim or they're fully composite like the ADV360. You've also got the Alloy and the Alpha and the Hybrid that's the Fuse. So we're going to break down what makes each of those bats special and we're going to get the insight as to what exactly these bats are talking about when they say they've changed the game in innovation. just landed here in Burbank. My first chance to check out California. John and Reese are grabbing the bags at the carousel right now. We're going to get our rent -a car and then go check out some of the landscape. Head over to Thousand Oaks, California, where Easton is located. See some of the field we'll be able to shoot on tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go have it. Just wrapped up an evening run, guys. Beautiful night here in Southern California. Getting some of those jitters out of my system as we get ready for a huge day tomorrow. It's gonna be unreal as we get a chance to see some of those awesome new bats that are gonna take over the game in 2020. As you can tell, I'm a little bit out of breath here. I'm gonna hit the shower, then hit the bed for a long night's sleep for an awesome day ahead of us. You guys, get ready for what's gonna be the best day of the year. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are as well. The unveiling's coming next as we wake up tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Today is the big day. And what I wanna know out of some of these questions that I get to ask them directly is what's going on with the new 360 technology? It's something that Easton's gonna be rolling out this year. I wanna know what makes it so special. Also, what I'm curious about is what's going on with the new Maxim. The Maxim for a while has been under the big combat brand. Now Easton's taking it over and calling it the Easton Maxim. So what's gonna be different there? Also, what are they doing with the Fuse? What are they doing with the Alpha? I'm gonna get a chance to ask those questions in an interview that we're gonna roll out in a separate video for you guys to see. I will give you a little bit of insight on this video once that interview's over as to some of the key points that they let us know in terms of what's going on with those bats. So let's have a wonderful day. Follow me, we're gonna have a blast today. All right, guys, we made it all the way out here to Easton. Here we are at the facility. Let's go check out what's going on inside. So right now, Reese and John are setting up behind me for the interview. But first, what I want to do, I want to walk around the facility. I want to give you guys a behind the scenes look of what's really going on here at the Innovation Labs at Easton. Let's go check it out. All right, so what we have here is the history of Easton. As you can see on the wall right there, it started there in 1922 by Doug Easton. It looks like we go down the hall. You can see some of those throwback bats there. Also, you get to see all the national champions that have ever won at the college level. So you can see those Fullerton there. 
UCLA, Miami, Stanford. Go down the line where we're from, Wichita State, representing Kansas there, Pepperdine, and some of those bats that you might recognize from your past. We're starting to get into a couple that I recognize as well. You've got Cal there in 2002. That would have been the Softball World Series. Then you've got something up here. There's that stealth. There's a stealth comp. So some of those throwbacks that we see on social media all the time, those stealths, those Makos are now coming into play. These are some of the hottest bats of all time and they've helped teams win the World Series. And next up, there you go. There it is. That's the end, that's 2018. They've got a spot there reserved for 2019 where UCLA won the World Series as well. And then as I take you back over here, we actually get a look into the R&D lab. This is where they're designing the new bats. This is actually where they're wrapping some of the composite bats as well. But this is where some of that innovation takes place, where we get to see that new technology come to fruition. Right in there, you can see them working away on those next bats. So those are the 2020 bats. They might even be already thinking about the 2021 bats. There you have it. Just a little bit of insight for you guys. Check this out, guys. We're now in the Hit Lab. The Hit Lab is where they actually test out all of the brand new bats and they monitor the information and the results that come in. They tweak those with changes and they make a better bat as a result for you guys out there. One thing you'll also notice in these two hitting cages is an old friend of ours. That's Hit Tracks up there. It's a supercomputer that tracks all the information that comes through off a batted ball. It's showing launch angle exit velocity, line drive rate, everything you need to know to become a better hitter. So if you're unfamiliar with hit tracks, you're gonna wanna do some research, check it out. We love them over there. All right, we couldn't come out here without giving a little shout out to our friends at Just Ball Gloves as well. Here's a secret, it's us. Check it out. All of the Easting gloves, all of those top end models, ranging down to the youth models as well, to slow pitch softball. Some of the best gloves in the game are right there on that wall. And some of the best gloves in next year's game are right there on the table. Here we go, guys. They are setting up for the interview right there, as you can see right behind me. I'm going to set that up right in there. There's John and Reese and Connor showing us around. And I get a chance to break down some of these brand new bats right now. Wrapped up the interview with John here at Easton. He gave us a lot of great insight on these models. All four of these bats are gonna be available at youth sizes as well. I know last year with the Project 3 series, those were only available in the BB core size. No longer the case. They're available for youth now as well. So you younger players out there, you're gonna be able to swing the bats of the big boys as well. One thing I have made note of, the Maxim is still gonna be hot out of the wrapper even though it's a one piece composite bat. The Fuse, and the Alpha are incorporating some fun technology there that are gonna help reduce the vibrations and help balance out the models. The Alpha is still gonna be a little bit inloaded though. The Fuse is gonna utilize that hybrid technology that we've come to know and love. And also that ADV360 is gonna be a super hot, fully composite model. And what they're working on is making it hot out of the wrapper as well. That'd be a lot of fun if we no longer had to break in these composite bats. They could come ready to go. I know fast pitch softball has kind of already mastered that as well. So stay tuned. We're gonna get a chance to go down to the batting cages and see some of the talent swinging these bats. I think we're gonna have a couple former college players come out. And also at the very end of the day, I've been told and confirmed that I'll be able to swing the new bats. So stay tuned. We should have a blast for the rest of the day. All right, we're getting a chance to see Steven swinging the new ADV 360 right here. You can hear that composite material every time it hits, making that loud crack noise. He's squaring up the ball. Now up, Steven's got the new Easton Maxim 360 in his hands. That is a one piece fully composite bat that comes hot out of the wrapper. We're gonna get a chance to talk to him directly. 
He's now swinging that new Fuse. That's a hybrid model. It's the same type of model that he was swinging last year in college, so he should have a pretty good feel for it. He's got an extensive background with this type of bat. So the last bat of the day is gonna be that alpha. This is gonna be the power bat, the one piece alloy bat that's gonna be loaded at the end to produce more drive and better performance off the barrel. Here with Steven, a former third baseman from San Diego. He had a chance to swing those four models there. Steven, which of those was your favorite? Uh, you know, I loved them all. I think, I think the last one I swung was my favorite. I think it was the Alpha. alpha. Yep. Uh, a little more end loaded and one piece. Uh, Usually I, I swing an end loaded bat and yeah, that one felt felt the best for sure. Okay, awesome. And did they feel smooth? Did they? Was there anything off about them? What, Not what's at that? all. No, it felt very smooth, very whippy through the zone. Uh, felt good overall. Yeah, I felt felt like the ball was kind of jumping off the bat. Okay. Each time. Felt great. Awesome. And vibrations? None. Not Wonderful. No. Wonderful. Well, you heard it first, right from the horse's mouth right there. You need to go out and get your own Easton bat today, whether you're looking for a, a composite model or you're looking for something like that alpha that Steven enjoyed. Check him out today. See you guys. Thanks, Steven. Thank you. Next up, we're headed to a local high school field where we're going to get a chance to hit these bats on a playing field. We'll see how far the ball actually goes. And now I get a chance to swing these new models. How exciting that is. Let's get it. So we're out here at the field right now. We're getting it all ready for you right here, pulling off those tarps. They've watered the outfield. We're getting those brand new bats loaded up and we're gonna start hitting with them right now. Here we go. So one thing I did want to touch on with these new models, as you can see with the ADV in the fuse that I'm noticing right here, is they've got these soft knobs. So these soft knobs are actually in place to help with those vibrations and to help protect your hamate bone. Your hamate bone is the bone that's really at the base of your palm, just below where my thumb is right there, and it can actually get caught up on a standard knob. What can happen then is those vibrations can actually lead to a fracture or a clean break. So what they've done is they have actually become quite soft. They're squishy. It might be tough to see right there, but they're squishy. So they'll actually help with that impact and they'll help protect your hand, especially if you're a player that likes to leave a pinky off as you go to swing and get more leverage on the bat. So you'll want to check that out as we go through this 2020 lineup is actually take a look. And when you get a chance to see one of these in person, go ahead and squeeze that knob. You'll notice that it's squishy and that it's actually going to be more protective as a result. All right, guys, it's now my turn to go hit. So follow me as I get a chance to go swing all four of these brand new bats. Should be a blast. We've got our pros out there taking care of business, and now the amateur's gonna step up and see if we can't maybe get one into the grass or two. All right, guys, I just got a chance to do my own round of batting practice, and boy, did I pay the price for it. I popped a blood blister right there. That's why you always wear batting gloves. But nonetheless, it was so much fun to swing those four brand new bats. We've got the Maxim, the one-piece composite. It's smooth, it's still stiff, and it's very explosive off the barrel. I love that bat. I also really like that fuse model, that hybrid, that alloy barrel composite handle. It's very smooth with that soft knob. It rests so easy at the base of my hands. But my two favorite bats that I really enjoyed swinging were the ADV 360. That model was awesome. Multi-piece composite bat, very balanced, very easy to swing. Love that bat. And a bat that really surprised me that I truly enjoyed was the Alpha 360, a one-piece traditional model. It's got that alloy construction throughout. 
even though it was a little bit inloaded and 33 inches, I loved that bat. That was so much fun to swing. The ball jumped off it when I got it through. The bat whipped through the zone. All four of these are bats that you should certainly try out, but I'd at least recommend trying out one of those. And remember, they're gonna come out in BB Core, USA, and USA. So every age is gonna be able to swing these different bats. They're gonna take over the game. I really loved all of those bats. And I'd like to thank Easton for letting us come out and inviting us out to beautiful sunny California. This was a blast all weekend long. Also, big shout out to Newberry Park High School for letting us use your facility and your beautiful field. Best of luck with you guys going forward as well. And and thank you guys for stopping by on our trip, joining us for this wonderful trip. I had a blast. I hope you guys did too. And I hope to see you guys again real soon.